Alright, uh, I got this book for Christmas. Um, we're going to do a PowerPoint slide presentation on this. Alright, hi. Uh, tracing schematic wire diagrams on diesel electric motives, electric motive division, General Motors Corporation, LaGrange, Illinois, USA. Tracing schematic wire diagrams on diesel, electric locomotives, electric locomotive division, General Motors Corporation, and LaGrange, Illinois, printed in the U.S. 1952. Um, introduction. Locomotives of the day are called diesel, electric, diesel locomotives, but our true name is diesel electric locomotive. The diesel engine drives the generator from there on most everything is electrical. The electrical systems are most difficult to understand. It was generally agreed with electrical troubles or causes of most delays, which is in the mind with the ability to tracing schematic wire diagrams will be tremendously an asset to both the operating and the maintenance man. It will enable them enable him to better understand how his locomotive operates and gives him the means of the rapidly troubleshoot correct most of the problems then might arise in the operation is most uh is very likely that the first time you ever looked in a wire diagram you threw it up your hands and disgust after seeing the maze of the wires and symbols Actually, a schematic di diagram is relatively easy to read, provided with the, that you analyze the circuits individually and somewhat the reading of the roadmap, when, which I may sure all of this uses, uh, may sure all of us have done one at a time and another. Spreading, um, speaking of the roadmap, reminded of the analogy I meet, get, might give and then show the comparison value beginning. Being able to read the maps and diagrams, suppose you were taking a trip from the, from the um, here from Cal to California in your car, but you don't have a road map. You would probably do and would do do would be to head westward towards the to the setting sun, not no, knowing proper roads to follow. Would you make the trip extremely difficult and lengthy and discouraging, particularly if you held had to be in California in a hurry, you would probably be on um, bad roads and detours with the general go to the ultimate reach with your goal uh, go in circles around in circles of chance, however, that if you are present well, you will have ultimately reach your goal. Now, taking the same trip with the road map would be another story. You could um, plot your course, make the trip easily with a minimum delay. The same with the, uh, the thing that holds true um, with troubleshooting of locomotives is perhaps it's reported that the locomotive is not loading up, of course, that you know um, that the main reason th for this is the shut in the battery field contactors not closing. Wire diagrams, the method w would be short, um, sort of a hit, hit or a miss. Checking everything in the um, site with the contacts, relays, interlocks, switches, and fuses. Since most of them have not bearing on the problem that hand on a lot of time would be w wasted. Um, I'll, gra uh, I'll grant, however... That you might ultimately find your trouble. It, it, it's just like driving into California without a road map. How much better would it be to solve the locomotive problem with the help of wiring diagram? Using uh, this would be spot your goal, which in our example of the is the SH and BF contactor. The tracing of the circuits would be known to exactly the contactor analog or switch, and to look <coughs> look at. In this way, our trouble can be found with a minimum delay. It is assumed that fairly well acquainted with electrical sim that we assume that you are fairly well acquainted with electrical symbols, legend used in these diagrams. One thing might bear mention, however, is interlocking in their identification. An interlocking is not an individual piece of equipment existing of itself, rather the part of the sum of the relay and the contactor actuated with the relay or the contactor. For example, the shunt field contactor has one interlocking on it. It is referred to as the AB interlock or shunt field contactor, or more briefly, the ABSH. AB of SH. Or, or, um, the contactor made several sets for the interlocking. In this case, you would be given an additional letters alphabetical, such as CD, dash EF, dash GH, and so on. You will note that some of the interlocks are closed, other than that are open when contactor controls them is um, con when contactor controls them is open. Thus, they are reported, referred to as normally closed, normally operating interlocks. When um, controlling contactor closed with the interlock changing position, those that were previously closed now open. Those that were um, now closed the 
performance of the function making and breaking electrical circuits to be of any desired results. In tracing circuits, it must also be remembered that electricity will not flow until the complete path or circuit is established for it. All electricity will flow from the source of such a battery generated to some of the devices to be operated, then return to its source. Upon this completing the circuit, you might be say that the electricity will not start flow unless it has a round-trip ticket. On the diagrams that we shall trace, it will be noted that the bottom of the wire is common wire load leading and to the negative side of the battery, many devices are connected with the wire, and hence it will be necessary to trace all the circuits back to the source. These, the circuits that we shall trace will be the um, those of the electrical model, motive model 57 F7 locomotive. It should be um, remembered that similar circuits are used on the other general motor locomotives. Thus, it will be understand the trace of diagrams of one of the locomotives. All others will be very similar. The tracing will be made with the following order. 1. The fuel pump circuit. 2. The engine starting circuit. 3. The auxiliary generator battery charging circuit. 4. The locomotive control circuit. 5. The excision circuit. 6. The engine speed control circuit and transition circuit. All right, circuit one, the fuel pump circuit. Starting with the positive side of the battery, we go through the main battery, um, battery knife switch and meter shunt and the control switch to the 30A control fuse. Going from the fuse through the control push button into the cab, we come in on to, on, out of the uh, PC wires. Runs the through the locomotive coming up through, from the PC wire. To, we will go through the throttle control stand where it contacts is made for the two fingers touching the metal bar where the throttle is in the idle position. From here, they will go through the PCS contacts with the P, into the PCR coil. And note that the PCR interlocking with the CD above will now close, establishing the holding of the circuit with the PCR. It can and it stay and energized with any of the throttles open from the PCR coil, but the circuit is completed with the back of the negative side of the battery through the ADA, ADA control fuse and control knife switch with the main battery switch. Continuing through the positive control switch wiring coming from the control switch, we will go through the A15A fuel pump circuit fuse fuel pump switch button located in the cab of the AB interlocking PCR of the PCR will be closed in action of the PCR and coil previously entered from those that it will enter the FP wire part this includes the FPC can oil when it turns for the close for the interlock of the AB and CD of the FPC and the fuel pump motor circuit now coming from the our positive control wire we go through the 10A fuel pump motor fuse and the AB and the CD of the FPC Thus, the fuel pump toggle switch directly to the fuel pump motor. All right, the following is a list of abbreviations used to identify electrical equipment on the schematic wiregram. The diagram is designated for the form with the identification bands of the wire and locomotive. We're going to go over this five or six times in the um, so. Uh, just listen up. The wiring diagram in Chapter 6 shows the contactor switch and relays on the non-dynamic A unit with the engine stopped and all manual switches open. It must be remembered that when the operating coil of the contactor becomes energized, the contacts and interlocks associated with the contactor then will be in position opposite and they show the wiregram. The AC1 and AC2 and 3 and 4 are cooling fan motor contactors. The AM stands for battery charging ammeter. AV BV, CD, CV, and DV are control go uh, governor control solenoids. B1, 2, and 3 are dynamic brake contactors. BA is a boil alarm alert. BC is a battery charging contactor. BF is a battery field contactor. BT, BTP is a backward transition relay. BW is a dynamic brake warning light. BWR is a dynamic brake warning relay. CC's um, double C is, or CC is a compressed control magnet valve. CCS is a compressor control switch. Um, COMM is a communication field. Uh, communication field. COMP is a compensation field. CR is a compressor control relay. CS is a cam switch, power bracket transfer to switch. DIFF is a differential field. ER is an ER relay. ETS is an engine high temperature switch. FL is a field loop contactor. FOR is a reverse magnetic field forward. FPC is a fuel pump contactor. FTM is a forward transition relay or for motor shunting. FTP is a forward transition relay parallel. G is a ground light. GA is a gauge light on the switch. GR is a ground relay. 
IM is the load indicating meter. IS is an isolation switch. LOS is the lubricate lube oil switch alarm. M it stands for motor shield shunning magnetic valve. Motor shunning magnetic valve. M1 and 2 and 3 are motor field shunning contactors. MOT is a cam switch of magnetic valve for the power position. N is a number light. Um, NV is an alternating failure of the signal light. NVR is a no AC voltage relay. ORS is an overriding solenoid in the governor. QS, Q, or, or, I guess it's a, that's an OS, low, low oil signal light. P1, 2, and 3 are parallel contactors. PCR is a pneumatic control relay. PCS is a pneumatic control switch. PR is a parallel relay. RCR is a reverse current relay. REV is a reverse magnet valve relay. A reverse magnet valve in reverse. Um, RVR is a reverser. S14 and S23 are serial parallel contactors. SH is a shunt field contactor. SMV is a shutter magnetic valve. SR is a signal relay. ST plus and ST minus are starting contactors. Starting start start starts stands for starting field. SWS is summer winter switch. TCR is a temperature control relay. TOW stands for cam switch magnetic valve for dynamic braking. TS is an engine high tide temperature light. WSA is a wheel slip auxiliary relay. WSR one and SR two is a wheel slip relay, and WS is a wheel slip light. All right, starting from the con um, if from the top um, left-hand column down, we work our way into what looks like a circle with two um, um, the, the circle with two blocks on, blocks on the end of it, which stands for a generator or motor amateur, and then you have a zigzag line, which stands for a coil of the generator field motor field relay, or a contactor. So you either have a field motor field relay or contactor on the coil generator. Um, there's a, there's a, uh, when you have a, um, zigzag in parentheses, double parentheses, it stands for reverse contactor in series field. Um, just like in a door on a, a drafting situation, you see a half, a, a heart, a heart line with a single switch, um, or a door opening that stands for the contactor blowout coil. All right. Now you're given a little key, like a puzzle piece. Um, that stands for drum type switch. And then you have interlock. Your interlocks are like um, are like uh, straight lines with do um, two round two points on them with a door that is closed. Like and or should we say like a, a block on the side of the uh, um, in between the uh, lines of the spots. All right, a battery, a storage battery has a small and small and large dash um, dashes in the between a minus and a plus um, plus sign. A fuse is a a, 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 a squiggly line with the SA stands for a fuse and sample um, fuse five amperes. If it has an F over, it, like it will say how many amperes it is. An ammeter with a shunt shows an A in a circle above and what looks to be like an interlocking without a shade. Um, a significant acelium rectifier is a triangle with a line, letter um, T uh, or with a uh, parallel a line at the top of the arrowhead. A light receptacle is a circle with two lines through it. A backup light receptacle is a circle with two dots in it. And a battery charging receptacle is a circle with a circle in it. And um, a light is just a circle. Um, your transformer air core is a um, two squiggly lines that happen to be parallel to each other but not touching. The transformer arm or iron core are vertical current lines with um, lines going through them. Your single sw pulse knife switch as a cross for a door like a gated wire. The double pole knife switch has a two 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 double um two door openings lined together. A single pole snap switch has a small dot on the um uh the gate to the relay. Um also the double pole switch and pole sw snap switch has a pull out line through it like it's done like the double pole knife switch but with a line through it. Your push button it shows a um blocked off with a button on the uh what looks to be like an interlock and your push button on the interlock without a spring is a push pull switch all right your fixed resistor is a blocked a blocked um blocked a blocked to a tooth a tooth um line or a block line 
and your variable resistor is a tooth line or a block line going in a circ um, loop. Um, all right, a uh, thermal relay is uh, is a uh, two block is is I don't know. Just look at it. Two negative side battery um, is a circle with a negative on it. That means two negative side battery. The wire ground to locomotive is a line with small dashing, um, small dashes in a triangle or bottom shape. Um, and circuit continued on or another path is fo formed with an arrowhead going that shows the circuit and continued on the path on another plate. Wires connected shows is a dot with um, a full line going through them. Capacitators. Or uh, either uh, the Y coupling or the two Y couplings. Uh, um, your circuit breaker knife switch has a tooth, tooth, uh, a tooth push button, a uh, tooth push pull, um, or a uh, snap pull switch with a tooth. And it is circuit breaker rheostatter is a current field uh coil generator field um or relay contact with a arrow pointing on the inside of it and made it in a circle all right all right here on the top one i'm going to move my uh, cursor over here you see a 64 volt battery with a btn which is the uh doesn't say um battery tr battery t terminal positive and negative through a double pole switch to an ammeter which goes through the con on one side of the control switch which goes through another double pole sw control switch at 80 amperes and this circuit runs on 80 amperes on the bottom and the, which was the negative and the positive um, from the po second control switch through the ammeter goes to a control um, through a 30 amp fuse to a control stand um, also, back to the PC, uh, which is probably a pneumatic uh, parallel contactors uh, or, 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 or pneumatic control. This is for the, your fuel pump circuit. Um, your fuel pump circuit goes back, um, rides the uh, after the still on the negative positive side of the double switch amper switch. Um, on the other, it goes into two lines: a PC and a um, patrols um, pump circuit and a fuel pump circuit. Which go the um, fuel pump goes through a 15A and then a another push button fuel for the fuel pump and or interlocking fuel pump with a put um, interlocking fuel pump uh, push double um, push button switch. Um, there you have your B and A. Uh, And then the fuel pump wire comes back through the uh, fuel coil current back to the, uh, which goes down the ADA same side of the battery um, battery terminal, which also, the negative terminal also before it, going on the ADA terminal um, has a 10 a fuse breaker um, to a two interlocking um, fuel pump controls A, B, and D, and C. These are the points, and uh, snap button, a snap. A, uh, a single pole snap switch going through a motor with the current X around the fuel pump for the motor for the fuel pump. Also on the back side of the fuel on the B, um, patrol pump circuit, the fuel pump circuit, there's a uh, PCR, which is a pneumatic control relay, and that pneumatic control uh, switch. The pneumatic control relay and switch is over here with two interlockings from the f two field corns the fuel pump circuit and the p pneumatic control relay to the pneumatic control switch which goes into a um, two point c and d of the pneumatic control relay and these relays go from the um, pcs switches to the throttle control which has seven di eight different notches and you have your um, drum tight switches and these are stop idle and these um, control the fuel pump switch and th at the throttle control Circuit to engine starting circuit. The next circuit is a sequence will be start of the engine through the starting circuit. The um, the PC wire with the control um, 
the control circuit of the previously established weaken and you come down from the AB finger with the isolation switch, which will be closed on the isolation switch in the start position. From there, we go through the start button, push through the start contactor coils of the STP, not um, positive to negative. These coils will still, um, ST positive and ST negative. These coils close with the contactor, ST plus and ST negative. High voltage system battery control circuit of the flows of the positive connection just below with the main battery switch from 400 amperes starting fuse to the start positive with contactor main generator armature differential compound communicating starting fields main generator and the SD um, contactor back to the negative side of the battery the main generator now acting back on the negative side of the battery the main generator now acting as a motor cranks the start of the diesel engine in the starting button can now be released which breaks the circuit of the ST plus and ST negative coils which allow the start ST plus and ST I um, negative contactors to open and disconnect the battery from the main generator once again AC 1 2 and 3 stands for a cooling fan motor for contactors AM for the motor um, battery charging Amateur AV, BV, and CV, and DV stands for Governor um, Control Solenoids B1, 2, and 3 stands for Dynamic Braking um, Contactors BA for the Boiler Arm Light, BC for the Battery Charging Contactor, BF for the Battery Field Contactor, BTP with the Backward Transition Relay, BW with the Backward Warning Light, BWR Dynamic Backward Warning Relay, um, CCC, um, CC compre um, Compressor Control ma Magnet can valve the CCS with the Compressor Control Switch, the COMM Communication Field, and C COMP for the compensation field for the CR of the compressor relay, the CS for the cam switch, power braking, transfer switch, DIFF differential field, um, ER, ER relay, ETS engine high temperature switch, FL field loop, contactor FOR for reverse magnet valve with the forward of FPC, the fuel pump contactor, FTM, the forward transition relay, FTP with the forward transition relay, parallel, G for the ground light, GA for the gauge light switch, GR for the ground relay, um, IM for the loading indicating meter, IS for the isolation switch, LOS, loop oil switch, alarm, M stores for motor sh um, shunting magnet valve with the M12 and 3 and 4, motor field shunting contactors, MOT with the cam switch, magnet valve with the four, the power pump position, M for the Number of light NV for the alternating failure signal light with the NVR for the no AC voltage relay. ORS stands for overriding solenoid in with the governor with the OS for the low, low oil signal light with the P12 and 3 and 4 parallel contactors PCR with the patrol and con pneumatic control relay PSCS with pneumatic control switch PR parallel relay RCR reverse current relay REV reverse magnet relay reverse RVR um, reverse ER. S14 and S23 serials power parallel contactors, SA shunt field contactors, SMV shunt magnet valve with the SR signal relay, ST plus and ST9 starting and starting contactors, start and starting fields, SW summer winter switch, TCR um, temperature control relay, cam switch magnet valve with the forward dynamic braking engine, um, TS. Engineering engine high temperature light and WSA swiftly. Wheel slip auxiliary relay, wheel slip one, WSR1 and WSR2 wheel slip relays on WS wheel slip light. Once again, you have your generator motor field armature, the coil generator field with the field relay contact with the reverse contactor series field, a contact with the blowout of the coil, the um, drum switch type, um, the interlocking normal and normally, um, normally closed. The storage battery, the fuses, the ammeter, the solenoid rectifier, the light receptacle, the backup light receptacle, the battery charging receptacle light, and the transformer error core, the transformer error core, the single double pole switch night switch, the double pole night switch, the snap hole snap no switch, the double pole snap switch, the um, push button switch, and the push pull button switch. Um, your tooth and box fixed resistors, the tooth and box um, looped variable resistors. Um, thermal relay is what it is, and the negative side of the battery shows a negative on a circle at the like kind of like ground wire ground with the pyramid of dashed lines. A arrowhead for the continuing circuit on another plate wire connected at the points, just like uh, in geometry. The coupling of two like of a uh, seam a capacitator and the of a Y and a two Y seam. Also, a tooth um, a snap um, relay circuit breaker resistor re rheostatter. Your engine starting circuit. Starting from the battery, you have a battery terminal positive, which goes through a double main switch. Um, positive. That positive switch goes through an ammeter with the control circuit, and then from the control double throw switch, it goes to a fuse of 30 amp fuse with a um, control, uh, control a push button control with a positive. Um, 
the PC that um, goes to now to a uh, uh, what's IS stand for? A isolation switch, isolation switch with a push button switch. Um, starting with a and then to the push button switch, and then into your starting tra um, track. Your starting uh, ST stands for your starting. Your starting contactor is negative and positive through a field current, which goes back to, through the loop for your, from your original battery transfer terminal um, uh, in the line of an 80 fuse, 80 fuse, 80 amps back into um, following the bottom, ba battery term terminal around through a um, starting to a negative terminal. Um, this goes that the battery terminal positive um, going back to the pole switches and then before it goes back to the first pole switches on the positive negative po um, and positive negative um, po um, battery terminal positive switch it would go from a 4000 amp fuse to a um, starting tra starting transition starting contact starting Starting contactor is part of a negative at these two relays, which on this relay, there's a, um, contactor with a blowout switch, um, so you've got a contactor with a blowout coil, um, on your starting, starting, tra um, contactor positive and the starting trans transactor, your starting transactor, um, parallel, the STP, Within to the um, motor gasoline to a differential current with a compressor current with a communicating current um, compensation and commutating current with a field relay and another blowout coil that you're starting a negative, which goes back to the neg goes back and flows back through the um, original main battery switch, which is a double pole switch on the negative side of the 64 volt um, storage battery. That was your engine starting circuit. Circuit 3, auxiliary generated battery charging circuit. Now that the engine is running, the auxiliary generator begins with the charge of the battery with the flow of the um, supply of low voltage current with the locomotive that's filed for the positive side of the auxiliary generator armature flows and through a 30 amp auxiliary field fuse, then through the two paths for the um, voltage regulator and first go through the regulator variable resistor auxiliary generator field, but the other goes through the resistors and the regulator field widening to regulate the voltage output. These two paths are combining leading back through the commun com commutating field with the negative side of the auxiliary generator armature now just above the 30 amp fuse will, will flow up through the 150 ex amp auxiliary generator output as used for the connection with the leads of the reverse current relay we feed um we feed through a uh, spring loaded leads for the reverse current relay we feed the through a spring loaded sorry we would feed through the spring loaded finger with the variable resistor voltage back into the negative side of the the negative side of the auxiliary generator would the proper voltage is reached with the voltage coil with the pull the spring load finger with the opposite contact with the um, pleats with the circuit with the battery changing coil with the BC coil close with the BC contact to show the auxiliary generator can go um, through the current coil of the RCR to the BC contactor with the auxiliary generator with the nice switch the uh, uh, um, 500s of an 500s of an arm charging resistor. The arm shunt sh and main battery switch of the positive side of the battery. The flow from the negative side of the battery is through the main battery switch. The auxiliary generator switch of the negative side of the auxiliary generator. When the engine is stopped, the auxiliary generator fell, um, voltage fails, falls below the specified amount. The flow will tend to reverse the battery through the RCR, which the action allows the spring to pull back of the finger from braking circuit and circuit through the um, BC coil. Um, but the opening of the BC contact or breaking with the circuit through the BC coil with the open for the BC contact with the disconnect of the battery with the auxiliary generator to prevent it with the battery current for the motorizing of the damaged auxiliary generator. Another important function of the auxiliary generator is to excite the alternator done with the current flow of the auxiliary generator through the 150 amp output fuse for the connection immediately above the fuse going left of the connection through the, um, 35 amp alternating field fuse. Um, the 3.3 ohm resistor slip rings to the excite the rotor field, then return for the negative side of the auxiliary generator. The three phases of the alternating current induced with the flow feeds for the traction motor blowers and the engine cooling fans. The NVR stands for no voltage relay, is safety device to ring all bells and cutting off the locomotive power such should an AC output fail. 
All right, the um, Legend of the Electronic Equipment, once again in the AC 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, a cooling fan with motor contact with the AM, it's a battery charging ammeter, AV and BV and CV and DV stand for Governor Co um, Control Solenoids, B1 and B2, B3 can stand for dynamic braking contactors, BA stands for a boiler alarm con uh, light, the BC for the battery charging contact, the BF for the battery field contact with the BTP um, backward transition relay, BW for the dynamic brake warning light, D BWR for the dynamic brake warning relay, CC for the compressor control, magnet valve with the CCS for the compressor control switch, the COM for the communication field, COMP for the compensation field, CR for the compressor control relay, the CS for the cam switch for the power braking transfer switch, DIF the differential field with the ER for the engineer, uh, ER relay with the um, ETS stands for engine and high temperature switch. The FL stands for field loop contactor. The FOR stands for reverse magnetic valve with the forward. FPC stands for fuel pump contactor. The FTM for the forward transition relay for the forward motor shunting. Um, FTP stands for forward transition relay parallel. G stands for ground lighting. GA stands for gauge light or switch. GR stands for ground relay. Ground relay. IM stands for load indicating meter. IS stands for isolation switch. Lube oil switch stands. An alarm is an LOS. M stands for motor shutting magnetic valve. The BM1 and M2 stands for motor shooting, shoot, field shunning um, contactors as M1, M2, M3, M4. MOT stands for cam switch magnetic valve for the power per in position and from the number of light, the NV for the alternating failure signal of the light, the NVR for the non-L AC voltage relay, AORS stands for the real variating solenoid, and the governor of the OS stands for low oil signal signal, uh, signal light, P1, 2, and T, P3, P1, P2, P3, P4 stands for parallel contact or PCR for the pneumatic control relay, PCS for the pneumatic control Switch the PR for the parallel relay, P RCR for the um, reverse contra current relay, the REV for the reverse magnetic re um, valve, the reverser, RVR stands for reverser, S14, S23, series parallel contactors, SH shield hunt field contactors, SMV and shield mag magnet valve, the SR signal relay, ST plus, ST minus, starting contactor start stands for a starting field, SWS stands for a summer winter switch, TCR temperature control relay, TOW can. Switch magnetic valve for dynamic braking. TS um, engineering high temperature swilt light. Um, WSA wheel, wheel slip auxiliary relay. WSR uh, WSR one and SR two wheel slip relays and WS wheel slip light. Once again, you have your armature, your um, coil generator field, motor field, motor and contact with the reverse contactors in the series field. A um, um, Heart line with the switch is the contact with the blowout, and a bit is a drum switch type switch. Interlocking is a board or behind a or little gate interlocking normally, and interlocking close. Um, you have a battery with a small and large dashes vertically and positive and negative sign, and the fuse is a swivel line with the ampers above it, an ammeter with an A over it. The um, rectifier is an empty, uh, empty uh, non filled arrowhead with a dash over the, at the type pick pinnacle. Uh, circle is two dash, double, two line, a double a circle with an, on a line with the two lines through it. The uh, dot, two dots through a line with the backup light receptacle. A uh, circle in a circle on a line is a, a battery charging receptacle. Battery a circle on the line and stand for a light. Your um, current fields on the vertical standing um, stand for um, parallel but not contacting or transfer air core. Your cur current um, with the parallel lines of iron cores in between them stands for a transformer iron core. Your three single pole switch is a cross of the as a um, switch as a gate and two gated two double gated wire is a double pole switch and I switch a, um, a snap pole switch has a cer um, an arrowhead on the. Uh, on this on the on the on the gate. Um also your double pole snap switch has a gate with a line through it with a um push button. Your um interlocking shows are push button switches and push button pull button switches the tooth and the box um line stands for fixed resistor or variable resistor it shows that um a um a loop in in the uh um fixed resistor of the tooth or bowl blocked line. The then you have a like a little uh a thermal relay for whatever that means and a negative um, for the use side of the battery shows as a um, ended circle with a dash through it and a, neg a wire grounded for the locomotive shows a um, a, uh, a, uh, a triangle with a dash line through it um, a arrowhead with a is a um, full in arrowhead um, connections of the um, filled with a dot in uh, across the line Comp couplers of a Y seam or a double Y seam is a capacitator, and your circuit breaker is a tooth line with a snap, um, 
with a single pole snap switch. A real stator is currently been in a circle with a um, arrowhead. Um, uh, the circuit continue for the other, touching the plate of the real stator. All right. Um, let's see. We did engine starting. We're on battery charging. You have your 64 volt um, battery storage battery battery terminal negative and battery terminal positive. Your battery terminal um, positive will final that line first. Your battery will go through a double pull switch and then through the ammeter and then through a fixed resist um, a fixed resistor at five and at five ohms and then the battery. Um, The battery charging contactor is on a single pole switch, um, going from positive to negative, and then the current goes through um, several par um, a parallel circuit, which leads into which looks to be the uh, RCR, which is the reverse current relay. The reverse current relay has a uh, two fixed resi um, variable resistors on a um, single switch. Um, on, a, um, on, on a, a switch relay, and then the from the second resistor, fixed resistor, it goes into a current. These um, these and the reverse current relay goes back to the BC, which is the battery charging co um, c terminal. And this learns in, leads into the AGN, which is the uh, and was not stated uh, the AGN. All right. Um, as you can see, that also the battery charging um, unit from, um, line from the positive battery terminal positive on the outside of the circuit goes to 150 amperes, then through a 30 amperes. In between the 150 amper and the 30 amp fuse, you have an auxiliary generator and positive and negative communicator field. Um, on this, we'll get to this single side of the bat, um, before the alternator, all these connections. But from right now we're running on the right side, and then from the underneath the 30 amp, the 30 amperes runs on a circuit, which goes through a voltage relay and a uh, fix, a variable fixed resistor, two variable fixed resistors with a mo um, uh, uh, a motor on it, um, which would be probably for the voltage relay, battery charging, and fix two, and a current field flowing through a regulated field are two variable resistors. Then the field coil, the FLD um, field coil, the field main, your compensator, the battery charging, and the AGN are all on the back side, back side of the battery terminal negative positive, which goes through a fuse of um, 35 amperes and a fixed variable um, a variable resistor of 3.3 amps through a, um, a what looks to be an armature of a field coil and a uh, alternator on a current these uh, over here you see the battery charging fuel um, um, cooling fans three and four going through AC um, interlocks AC4 and an NVR um, you know uh, AC voltage relay um, here on a which looks to be a three-way winding um, on the and also a current from the NVR to double phase three-way winding All right, circuit four, locomotive control circuit, and I'm going to take a break, a break, and we'll come right back to this. Testing, testing, testing. All right, circuit four. Um, Locomotive control circuit. The next step of our sequence is to get into the traction motors connected with the generator that is done with the following manner. From the control push button, we go down to the PT2 finger that is touching the pedal with the throttle drum. The throttle is open with the finger um, to the number one position. The drum moves toward the slide with the, under the EX finger. The circuit is now completed with the drum out with the EX finger for the use with the generator field push button. Um, sorry. Um, closing the button sends with the contact with the GFY with the wire. We tap off it and come down to the stop of the finger with the transition drum. We tap off the um, the transition drum. All the fingers of the drum are resting with the isolation. When the transition lever is moved to the number one position, the power position, the metal portion of this drum slides under the finger. We stop it to complete with the control circuit without another frequent finger beneath it. The flow of the later um, ladder finger now goes into the right for the, the reverser section of the control stand with the stop of the another. Um, Another from the uh, finger with the reverse levers moved with the forward position. A metal bar, bar side, um, bar a metal bar slides under the finger and completes the circuit with the finger above the. Uh, it flows from the top of the finger now goes down to the FOY with the cross the 
Down to the FOR coil with the coil um, caused with the version and high voltage uh, systems move the forward position, tapping off the FO wire just above the, well, the FOR coil. Another um, circuit is established with the power of the contact to wave the path of, through the CD of the FOR, the GH, and the IS, and the AB of the P1 and RQ of the PR2. The S14 co um, coil between the interlockings of AB with the P1 and the ARQ with the PR with the wire goes into the right and down with the S23 coil. These coils um, closing the S14 and S23 contact with high voltage system there by completing the depletion connection with the traction motor with the generator that can be seen with the positive side of the main generator and going down with the terminals of the GSI with the right of the point of the reservoir of the contact field armature number one con American traction motor down to the left of the, through the S14 contact to the right of the reservoir tax field of the armature of the number four con traction motor through the indication meter of the show the terminal G to N4 from um, here we go on for the turn of the back of the generator armature between by the the way of the generator fields a similar circuit connecting the traction motor to the two and AR one um, AR um, I three of the domain contactor being closed. All right, your legend field, um, legend art, 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 um, electrical equipment, the AC1 and A2, and the a, um, AC1, A2, ACI2, ACI3, ACI4 is the cooling fan motor control motor contactors. The AM stands for battery arm, uh, battery charging ammeter, the AV and the BV and the CV and the DV stands for generator control solenoids, B1, B2, B3, B, um, um, dynamic brake contactors, BA at the boiler alarm light, BC with the battery charging contact with BF with the battery field contactor, BTP with the backward transition relay, BW with the dynamic brake warning light, DBWR with the dynamic brake warning relay, CC, compressor control with magnet valve with the CCS with the compressor control switch to the COMM, the communicating field with the COMP with the compensation field with the CR with the compressor control switch to the CS, the cam switch, power braking, transistor, transformer switch to DIFF, differential field, the uh, field, the ER stands for ER relay the ETS for the engine high temperature switch FLs for the field loop field loop contact the FOR for the reverse magnetic field valve with the forward FC, FPC fuel man, um, pump contact the FTM forward transition relay for the motor shunning FTP for the forward transition relay parallel the G stands for ground lighting GA stands for gauge light switch GR stands for ground relay IM stands for indicating me load indicating meter IS stands for isolation switch LOS stands for lube oil switch alarm M stands for motor shutting magnetic valve M1 M2 M3 M4 stands for motor shield field shunning contactors. MOT stands for the contacting cam switch magnet valve with the perform the power position. N stands for the number of light. NV for the alternating failure of the signal of light. NVR stands for no AC voltage relay. ORS stands for overriding cylinder in the governor of the OS. So it's a low oil signal light with the P1, P2, P3, P4 parallel contactors. Um, PCR for the pneumatic control relay, PCS pneumatic control switch, PR for the parallel relay, RCR reverse current relay, REV um, reverse magnetic valve re reverser, or RVR stands for reverser, 714, 723 series parallel contactors, SH shield contactor, um, SMV shield shunner magnetic valve, SR single relay start in contactors, S plus STI, S ST plus STI, and, uh, SD negative in starting contactor start stands for starting field, SWS stands for summer winter switch, TCR for the temperature control relay, TOW cam switch magnetic valve for dynamic braking, TS engineering high temperature relay for light, um, WSA wheel slip auxiliary relay, um, WSR1 and WSR2 wheel slip relays, and WS wheel slip light. As you have a blocked uh, um, a circle with the two point um, connect, connection points to it, you have the general uh, motor armature, the field coin, and the zigzag is the coil generator field motor field relay or contactor. Um, your um, your zigzag in parentheses sends reverse contact with a series of fields. A um, heart line with a um, gate switch is the contact with blowout coil. Your um, drum switch type switch is a bit with lines through it. Your interlocked in gate um, uh, normal gate is a gated uh, parallel break. Your um, storage battery shows from small dash to line, large dash is vertical with a positive and negative sign at each end. Um, your fuse stands for a swivelly line with the ampers above it, and the ammeter stands for a um, a block uh, A above it, with which shows in the shunt. Uh, rectifier is a um, non-filled uh, non-filled uh, triangle with a line over the um, res light receptacle. is a is a circle on a on a pair on a wire which has a two lines through it and a circle with two dots and it was the back of the light receptacle and a circle through the line uh, wiring is the battery charging receptacle the light uh, wiring with just a circle is a light 
Two um, field call um, generator relay um, parallel to each other, non touching, is a transformer air core. And, and um, your iron core has two parallel um, parallel that lines through the um, field, two different field um, coils, gen monitors, and generator contactors. Your knife switch is a single cross over on a gate switch. A double gate is a um, shows two open gates on the Shanine's uh, double knife switch. A uh, a uh, door with a doorknob on is a signal sna snap switch. A do um, two double uh, double pole snap switch is a door with a du double um, one double uh, with a doorknob on it. Your interlockings are more like um, your push button switches are and pull button switches are relays which are run on an interlocking system with a spring or, or non-spring for the push pull. Um, your tooth and blocked um, lines are fixed resistors. Your looped um, blocked and tooth lines are variable resistors. Your thermal relay um, is what it is and negative of the east side of the battery shows a um, ended loop uh, end of the wire with a negative on it a uh, triangle dashed um, end is a wire grounded to the locomotive with an arrowhead filled in arrowhead and circuit continued to another plate and um, wires connected are shown with points on the lines to two lines um, the Y and double Y co um, connect, um, seams are capacitators a tooth bit with a snap um, single pole snap switch is a circuit breaker and a rheostat is a um, field generated coil like I am with a uh, circuit continued within the circuit continued on a line um, all right your locomotive control circuit um, we're going to start on the battery side, negative term, or there's a locomotive control circuit. You have one, um, four different uh, motors. You have your um, motor generator with a battery t um, terminal positive um, with a... Uh, the files are current to the GSI, which is, uh, GSI is not on the thing, government... She is um, Governor Solenoid 1 and 2 of the, um, followed by uh, a reverse or contactor fields and one through the, like, goes through one to a solenoid switch, a single switch uh, contactor blowout coil to another um, reverse or contactor, the two, and then to an in, in loading indication meter. Back to G94, and on the uh, GS2, you have the second motor with a uh, inverser contactor series field with the um, blowout coil to the number three, and then the inverser field coil going back to G3 um, and 9.4, uh, the indication load meter um, to G94. Um, all right, now from the 64 bat volt battery, the battery ne um, negative terminal uh, or positive terminal goes through an ammeter with a control circuit double pole switch, which goes on two different lines, um, a 30 amp line and a generator field coil, which goes through um, the, con the controls from the 30 amp go into um, two different, uh, the positive control from the 30 amp controls battery switch goes to the, um, the throttle control, which has uh, eight little different fingers and stop and idle. Um, your control from your generating fields goes into a transition relay drum type, um, drum type, uh, switch, and then into, which looks like, uh, reverser of the reverser controlling for, of the, um, and then you have FO, FO and RE, um, those have single, uh, those have, uh, interlockings, from FE and CD and E and F and E with a gate between H and G and then parallel one parallel contactors one parallel contactors one and these different interlockings do um, SH shield fun shield field contactor and a uh, Battery field um, BF, which is BF, BF. Battery field contactor, shield front, shield um, contactor, shield chunk contactor, running back to the 88, 88 um, fuse ship on the negative side, going back into the um, through double two double pole switch to the 64 volt battery storage plate, and that was the excision circuit. 
All right, um, circuit six. Now the um, engine speed control. Now that the generator, the traction motor, circuit of the generator excitation circuits have been completed, the next step of the, uh, obtaining the maximum power output of the generator. This is done by speeding the engine with the means of electronic control over the engine governor. The ER relay circuit must be established be, um, before the general governor circuit can be effective. Starting the control switch before will go through the 15A with the fuel pump fuse, the fuel pump fuse um, push button with the PCR um, pneumatic control relay interlocking with the AB with the established the fuel pump pump wire circuit. The circuit will discuss the connection with getting the fuel pump started through the wire that come down through the JK and IS, which it will be closed with the running position the AB for the no um, voltage relay. Um, which will be closed with the action of the alternator generator electricity virtue for the being turned on for the engine of the CD and the GR with the ER relay co coil. Or, um, this will close the ER relay with the contact of the governor's speed control circuit. We have previously established the flow of the control push button to the throttle down drum way within the um, PT wire with the PT2 wire with the in the finger with the throttle with the open with the notch with the AS finger was completed with the control excitation circuit. There was no increase of the engine speed with the remains in the idle of the 275 um, RPM. The throttle is open with the number two position place that is slided under through the finger through from the drum um, goes through the finger and over the um, down through the ABER which is the down closed for the AV coil and the solenoid governor causing the engine speed to increase to um, 350 RPM to the throttle in the number three position breaks the circuit for the AV coil de-energizing the AV solenoid. Same type of the uh, circuit, um, same type of the contact is made with the finger leading with the Finger leading to the CV wire with the um, circuit traveled away similar with the AV circuit that goes through the CD and the ER to the CV solenoid. Starting the engine speed to increase the, um, to 425 RPM, the throttle 4 position completes the AV and CV circuit, causing the speed to increase to 500 RPM, the throttle 5 number circuit, um, throttle 5 the position established contact with the BV, DVV, and CV, the BV C, um, and CD and ER to the CV solenoid, DV circuit to the CD and IS to the DV solenoid. Um, Thereby, the BVC and CV and DV solenoids energize the engine speed to increase to 575 RPM. Throttle 6 completes the circuit of the AB, VV, CV, DV solenoids, thereby increasing the speed to 650 RPMs. The throttle 8 uses the AV, BV, CV circuit. So the, um, we bring issues the engine to the maximum speed of 800 RPM, placing the throttle to the stop position using the DV circuit alone with the operators to stop the engine. The engine may be also stopped pressing the stop button, which also energizes the DV solenoid coming to the PC wire through the AB and IS, which is closed with the IS and starts the position, which is the stop button to the DV solenoid with the stop the engine. All right, once one AC one and two and three and four stand for cooling phone cooling fan motor contactors AM of the battery challenging amateur ammeter the AV BV and CV and DV are the governor control switches. Um, governor control solenoids, um, which also go to the motor. The B1, B2, and B3 are the dynamic um, braking contactors, the BA with the boiler arm alert uh, light, and the BC battery charging contact, the BF with the battery field contact, the BTP um, backward transition relay, BW dynamic braking warming light, the BWR dynamic braking warning relay, CC control compressor magnet valve, CCS compressor control switch, the COM the communicating, COMM's communicating field, COMP compensation field, CR compressor. Compressor control relay, CS the cam switch, the power braking, the transfer switch, the div, DIFF, differential field, ER for the relay, ETS engine high temperature switch, and FL field loop contactor, FOR with reverse magnet valve forward, FPC with the fuel pump contactor, FTM with the forward transition relay for the motor shunning, FTP with the forward transition relay parallel, G for the ground light, GA for the gauge light switch, GR for the ground relay, IM for the load indicating meter, IS for the isolation switch, LOS for the lubricating oil switch, alarm, M for the motor shunning magnetic valve EM1, M2, M3, M4 for the motor sh field shunning contactors. The MOT cam switch magnetic valve with the form power position N stands for number light and NV stands for alternating failure signal light NVR stands for no AC voltage for relay ORS stands for overriding solenoid in the governor the OS stands for low oil signal light P1, P2, P3, P4 stands for parallel contact with PCR for the pneumatic control relay PCS for the pneumatic control switch PR for the parallel relay RCR for the reverse current relay R REV for the reverse magnetic valve, reverse RVR for the reverser, and S14, S23 series parallel contactors, SH shield um, field contactors, SMV for the shield magnetic valve, the SR signal relay, um, ST plus, ST negative starting contactors, start starting field, um, SWS summer winner switch, DCR for the temperature control relay. TOW cam switch magnet valve with the dynamic braking TS engine high temperature switch light WSA wheel slip auxiliary light WSR1 and WSR2 wheel slip relay 
and WS wheel, um, wheel slip light. Your battery is a circle with um, two black um, pointed um, connections at it. Uh, feel, uh, it's exact stands for a cool generator field in the motor with the field contactor relay of the contactor. A field uh, zigzag in parentheses stands for reverse contactor service field. A um, throw switch with a heartbeat or heart line is the contactor with the blowout coil of the field um, bit. Looks like a drum, drum tight switch. A interlocking with the gated um, connection um, between a gate. As a gate in line, um, instead of a door swing, storage battery, and small and large, um, spaced out dashes between a uh, positive and negative sign views. As a swivel line with the amps above it, the ammeter with the stands uh, is a block with a A over it on the line. A rectifier is a triangle with a dash on it, non filled arrowhead, um, non solid arrowhead. The line with uh, two dashes in it um, on a wire is a, a circle with the line. Um, with the, and on a wire with two dashes in it is a light receptacle, two circles in it, a back of light receptacle, a circle in it with a battery charging receptacle, and just a circle is the light. The um, field co field generator, field contact motor and relay generator is a vertical standing, non-touching, um, stands for a transformer air card with the li parallel lines form it, a transformer air iron core. Your single pole through nice switch is a T, um, T door sw swing relay. A double pole nice switch is a two lines, um, two pole switches, two um, two pole switches on one line um, in and one switch. A single pole switch is um, a door opener with a doorknob, and a p double pole switch is a double knife as uh, a double um, open relay and a on a knob and then you have your push button interlocking push button relays with a spring in it as a push button switch or a pi pipe as a push pull, pull push pull switch your tooth and your box um, lines are um, fixed resistors and when it loops back it's a variable resistor your thermal relay and uh, negative sign in a circle is a negative side sided battery wire ground relay and arrowhead filled in with lines um, and uh, your arrowhead fill, um, fill in shows the currents to continue to another plate. A parallel connect, wires connected is made with a dot on the line at the two intersection. The uh, seam of a um, one Y and two Ys is a capacitator. Um, a toothed and um, single snap throw shits is a circuit breaker. And a real stat is a um, field coil and switched in a um, circle with a uh, standing circuit um, to an um, gate, um, flow. Alright, we're on engine speed, right? We're on engine speed. This should be an engine speed. Alright, that was engine speed. I guess I didn't put the uh, relay in there, so... Moving on to six circuit seven three-way relay automatic transition. After reaching the full power of the locomotive speed, increase it to the point where the transition necessary to elude the limitation main generator voltage. The transition must mean to be more speed than desired. This is done by the charging of the circuit, which is the traction motor connected with the generator with the comparable with the shifting of the gears in a car to locomotive. The complex is the same. The changing of electrical circuits and operation rise raise of the main voltage is to be determined by the, the initiating forward transition. Likewise, to increase the main generator with the current reduction of the voltage initiated in the backward transition. Transition from the serial power well for the zero parallel strength circuit is the power of the main generator voltage is the um, rises from the locomotive speed and it will um, from the positive of the main generator through the fixed 10,000 ohms resistor variable with the 10,000 ohm resistor of the FTM with the coil back through the generator field with the negative side of the turn generator the FTM interlocks from now closing the lower voltage circuit the first of the excitation circuit um, where just above the uh, shield um, shield um, contactor coil will have the wire going for the right end of the down through the AB FTM into the M contact um, this causes the M contact to shunt the field line with the traction mode of the high voltage circuit the field T FTM interlock with the CD FTM this closed with the control circuit just above the S14 coil and performed the function of the establishing holding the circuit and use the next transition the transition shades is completed with the locomotives picks up the speed 
Transition from the shear wells parallel wells circuit of the parallel wells occurred to the next as the locomotive speed increased of the main generator voltage continued with the rise in which the reach of the 950 volts with the flow with available um, from the, the generator through the FTP coil with the back of the generator side of the generator the FTP with the close with the contact with the low voltage excitation circuit. This below is then we have the circuit with the going through the right the AB, AP with the battery terminal positive then down by the AB with the view, um, FTP with the EF with the um, MF and to the PR coil with the PR interlocked with the function to make the transition to the following manner with the first of all directly above the PR coil and the ABPR will close its abyss holding the circuit with the PR energized with the, um, in the circuit leading to the SH coil with the EF with the PR with opens with the brakes the circuit with the SH opens with the SH contact with the SH contactor opens the ABAS H will open the BF open a coil circuit will open with the BF and contactor the uh the CBNF BNF is now close with the ORS circuit, but the energizer of the ORS will quickly move the lead with the regulator magnet minimum of the field that is with the DK with the main generator voltage. The main generator excitation records that the voltage now rapidly drops. Drop out of the FTM with the such of the 700 volts of the FTP with within 630 volts of the AP of the FTM will open the drowning uh, dro dropping out of the M contact with the CD FTPM with located with the S14 control circuit together with the uh, RQ with the PR will open the breaking of the circuit with the S14 which Cause this contact to open will now feed with the down with the current control circuit with the CD with the PR, which will close, and the AB with the 714 closed with the P1, P14. Oh, sorry, P1 and P4 coils, which will close in the P4, P4, P1 and P4 contact with the high voltage circuit. And the circuit leading to the S23 coil will now feed the AB1 and P1 will open, thus dropping the S23 contact with the high voltage in the circuit. Leading to the P2, so uncoils will find the AB and the S23 will now close the establishment. The circuit with the close with the P2 to the um, 23 high voltage circuit. The transaction made uh, motors are now connected with the parallel circuit across the main generator with the P1, P2, P3, P4 contactors. Remaining to establish the station circuit, but therefore, with the circuit adjusted below the AB with the ground relay, will come in straight down for the known for the NPPR with the CD with the P3, but then left down with the S shield. Um, um, shield hunting contactor. This course of this close with the shield the SH contactor with the turn and close with the BF contactor as described before. CD and BF will now open de energize the ORS with the permanent load generated with the function normally with the parallel transmission now allows the locomotive to increase the speed. Transition from the parallel to parallel shouldn't necessary to achieve the maximum locomotive speed accomplished with the main generator of the voltage again and rising 930 um, volts at the volt of the FTM with one to the pickers of the did not earlier transit in serials parallel serials parallel shunt. Never the power of the Parallel will need the excitation circuit through the ABFTM with the M with which closes the M contact is established between parallel circuits with the last stage of the forward transition. The backward transition made with the locomotive slow down with the main generated voltage drop looking in the main generator circuit of the FTP and then with no with the 10,000 ohm variable resistors now has been shunted with the closure of the GH and the PR with the AB with the FDM will curve the last forward with the transition lower with the dropout voltage of the FTM from the previous 700 to 600 volts with the main generator with the voltage drop at the value with the AB to the the FTM will open the braking circuit with the dropout of the M contact. It will have the backward transition and the parallel shunting the contactor. The next backward transition parallel series personal parallel circuit is necessary with the braking of the circuit with the PR with the coil with the done with the AB barrel battery positive current transfer terminal positive. And since the BTM um, BTP is located with the main generator circuit it directly will be noted with the field. Full generator current flows from the relay as if the locomotive slows down the voltage drop and the amperage rises. The trickle of the value of the relay with approximately 2400 volts of the down looking for um, 2400 amperes is now looking into the circuit with the PR with the coil noted with the AB with the BTP open and breaks the circuit within the DPR of the de-energized with the circuit with the change of the backward transition to the parallel sea wells par parallel to the flowing with the manner with the BPR with the opens the dropping of the out of the SH the AB of the of the SH opens to the dropping of the BF of the CD of the BF closes the energize the ORS which will minimize the load regulator to min toward min um, minimum field assisting DK minimum generator field with the CD here opens the drop of the P1 P2 P1 P4 P2 P2 and P3 AB1 and P2 and P1 and the RQ with the PR of closing the picking, picking up the closing of the um, shield um, um, series field um, 1423 with the EF of the PR with the CD the 714 CD and 723 closed with the pickup of the SH with the ABA and of the SH now closes the again with the pickup of the BF with the CD and BF opens the energize the ORS allowed to, uh, allowed to load the regulator function normally we now have the proceeding with the return of the original series parallel parallel series and the various transition steps that have been completed backward forward backward having allowed with the locomotive developed in power full power various speeds um 
This was the transition spur circuit. I guess I missed this one um, before before the automatic relay. Um, All right, we did the excitation circuit. All right, this one was the uh, transition circuit. The battery is a 64-volt battery with the battery train. It's over the negative through this, which was going on to the... Uh, we'll go from the battery terminal negative at the slow switch, which um, goes to um, three different um, four, three different um, parallel circuits with the GM1, GN4, GN2, and GN3. On GN1 through GS1, um, you have two on the roundabout of GN1 from GS1. You have a uh, three different uh, compensation comp uh, communication and differential field of the motor ge um, um, generator, to which looks like a uh, a small current or a small current, which goes through the GCI one, which has a two different current uh, line, which goes in between the. Uh, Reverser contactor fields has a um, in this switch in this switch line it has a fixed resistor and uh, and, a, and a pole switch um, in between the fixed resistor which goes to engine number one and then from number one it mixes in through it goes um, one four three one four two and three motors which have fixed resistors um, fixed resistors and uh and you see parallel one parallel one for one two four motors fixed resistors two different relays and um fixed resistors shit shit sorry so you have your connection from gs g4 g s2 gs3 all through um fixed resistors and motors one four two and three of the excitation um field and uh they are on GN, G4, G2, and G3. And G3 through GN, you have um, two 10,000 um, fixed resistors. Um, and one, there's three different lines from the G3 motor. Um, but the two bottom lines, there's a, fi there's a fixed resistor of 10,000 ohms and then a, v a variable resistor of a variable resistor loop um, of 10,000 ohms and a current from the um, FTP. FTP the forward transition relay and the forward and the uh forward transition relay and motor shunting. Is your positive barity terminal negative in the transition circuit for the um motors one, four, two, and three? Um on the battery positive side of the terminal you see a uh, eighty amper. We'll go to the eighty amper first. It goes into the serials and the parallel circuits of one, two, three, and four. The series the thirteen and the series uh um, it has different interlockings of resistors, uh, or should I say currents. Um, it has A, B um, interlockings on seven um, shield, series 14 and 23. And then a series of, uh, on the ground relay side, it has different interlockings um, on the series of four, 14. And, um, and that goes back to the drum key of the transition control relay and the throttle control relay. And we're moving on. This is the last one. I didn't get a good shot of it, but it's the power transition cooling. These are the cooling fans. These are your transition traction motors. Um, lighting, battery charging, control, transition. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a better job of this. Lighting, control, um, transmission, engine control, alarm signals. Uh... Thanks for watching.